bright beauty every student matters hello everyone in today's class we will deal with chapter 8 and 9 in your book which is about the changing traditions so the chapter 8 in your book is titled the changing traditions and it is an introduction to the theme which includes the three orders which will be your chapter 9 and then chapter 10 which deals with changing cultural traditions and then you have chapter 11 within the same section of your book which deals with confrontation of cultures from 13th to 17th centuries so broadly chapter 8 is an introduction to these themes which will be subsequently discussed in your book so in the introductory chapter that is chapter 8 we see that during this period so this period broadly covers the time between 9th to 16th centuries so this is the major focus of our uh, work so in this period covering 9th to 16th centuries we see that important changes in western europe that we could connect this period with modern times so when we are looking at this period we see that important changes are taking place and the area of our focus is western part of the continent of europe and the changes are such that we can see the beginning of the modern era it's not modern uh, period as such because the time period which we are dealing with is medieval 9th to 16th centuries but then we see certain changes which we can say lays the foundation for a modern uh, era for a modernization of the society at a later period so the changes included development of scientific knowledge so this is one of the features uh, which is very prevalent or significant in modern times or is a development which marks the beginning of a modern era so in the time period which we are looking at we could see there is the development of scientific knowledge which is based on experiment so from religious beliefs and other cultural practices we see a beginning or a shift towards certain uh, experiment based scientific developments in the society and then serious thought about forms of government so till this period that is till the 9th century we see there are empires and great emperors and the form of government is mostly monarchy so now when it comes to 9th to 16th century people are also thinking about alternative forms of government instead of a monarch as its head they also see whether other forms of government uh, is possible they're thinking it has not come yet we have a democratic setup and all of that come at a very later stage but still there are thoughts or at least some people are thinking about these questions and that is happening for the first time and then there are creation of civil services so that is bureaucracy or running of administration so some people are given the responsibility to run the administration and the bureaucratic works and then changes in legislature that is legal structure what kind of laws should a state have and how it should be executed and different courts of law that is legality things related to legal framework and then most importantly improvement in agriculture and industrial technologies so this is also happening developments are happening and discoveries are taking place in agricultural and other technological field and we see that as a consequence 
of these changes it could be felt in different parts of the world although the focus of our chapters is on western part of europe that is western europe still we see that all these developments had an effect on different parts of the world the whole world was in some or the other way getting affected and getting influenced by these developments which were mainly happening in europe so this is uh, the introduction to the themes